Hello, my name is John Sims with the Advised Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how to default the security settings through the DTE port on the IP office and Avaya B5800 branch gateway. Before we jump into the configuration steps, there are a few notables. There are rare instances in which defaulting the security profile through the IP Office Manager will not be enough to fully default the security profile on the core unit. So under direction of Avaya support, a support engineer may be asked to connect a straight through serial cable to the IP Office V1 or V2 core unit. And with the use of the hyperterminal program, and as you see the settings below on the slide, will make a connection with hyperterminal through the DTE port into the command line interface of the core unit and issue the AT reset security command. What you see here is an artist's sketch of the IP Office B1500 IP500 V2 hardware. And the topic of the video today, we are actually making a connection, as you see in the lower part of the drawing, which is the rear face view of the hardware. We're going to be making a connection to that RS-232 DTE port. So it's time to get started. And as you see on Windows XP, I am now navigating to Hyperterminal. Now we're going to make a new connection and simply call it Test and click OK. In the connection settings, we're going to scroll down and select the COM port that's associated with the serial port on the laptop. Now under our COM4 properties, we're selecting our bits per second to be 38,400, leaving our data bits at 8, parity at none, and stop bits at 1, and setting flow control to none. We've now connected to the IP office or B1500 control unit using hyperterminal. If we issue the AT command, we'll get an OK response. And you'll see at the bottom of the hyperterminal screen, our COM4 data flow settings have been updated. We then issue the AT security reset all command and hit enter. And we'll get a confirmation asking us to enter the MAC address as a fail safe measure to make sure we're serious about wanting to default the configuration. So I'll enter the MAC address as you see here and hit enter. And then in a few moments, I'll let it play live in real time. The unit will issue back an OK response. And that means that the security settings have been defaulted. You can now exit out of Hyperterminal. And it's your choice whether or not you want to save the profile. Just as a quick checkpoint, we're now going to launch the IP Office Manager application. And we're going to pull the system security side of the configuration into IP Office Manager application. This is the same process for the B1500 branch. As you see, we're going to advanced security settings and then we'll get our control unit selection window which I'll select the proper control unit, click OK, and from there we'll make a connection using the default security account of security all lowercase security PWD is the default to get into the security side of the IP office or B1500 unit. From there we're just going to do a precursory check just to see that everything is as we expected after defaulting the security settings. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.